Good morning from Mexico City, Mexico. We are at Six Flags Mexico today. Look at the parking lot. Check out this crazy entrance here. There's like nine lanes that all go through uh, traffic to get in. Oh, look at all of these coasters. You excited? <laughs> yeah. Woo! I am so super excited. There's not a lot of people in the parking lot, but there are a lot of people up here at the entrance. It's a lot of buses. Yeah, we saw a whole bunch of buses pulling in and parked. But I guess that makes sense. Not everybody has a car. Check out the entrance here at Six Flags Mexico. Been wanting to get to this park for a really long time. We've got the uh, same Evolve scanners that all the American ones have now. Pretty cool. Made it through security. Check this park out. Oh, I love Medusa right here at the entrance, towering over us. Viva la Mexico! Here's some of my crew for the day. Got some teacups here at the very front. Oh, already hearing the screams of people. Yeah. I like this entrance. What's up? Where's that? Yeah, look at all that meat right there. Woo! What's up, Seafred? Larson! All right, so we're gonna, we, with all the kids that we see in here, we're gonna do the, uh, the Flash Plus Platino, uh, which includes 10 accesses to these rides here. Uh, that 600 uh, pesos works out to, like, what, $35 at this time, something like that? Not bad. All right, first ride of the day, Superman Ultimate Escape. Check out this line, though. We're gonna do it since it's actually a fairly short line. That line hadn't gone in the building. Oh, we got Buzz Bars people up here. Hey! Oh, here we go. The line ended up being actually pretty long, so we're gonna do the uh, flash pass side. Can't tell so far if there's more than one train coming. Uh, Flash Pass got us right in, but then there's like a four, four train wait for row three. We're doing the magic seat, at least the one that works on the other Morgans. So we'll see. Holy cow, Superman Ultimate Escape. That might be the best of the Morgans. Maybe not fan, fan of Revenge, but God, that was so super good. I will be riding that again. But that line took forever to wait in, even like using the flash pass and getting in the station, the, the line for it is, uh, is pretty wicked long. So yeah, here's a, here's a look at the line. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of people. To the France area. When you were up on, uh, Superman, you got a good view of the city and everything. It was gorgeous.
We're all kind of guessing where we're going. Look at all of this. This is great. Not doing this yet. So we heard the back of the park is fairly empty. But nice little spinning wild mouse. I believe that's a Gerslauer. Tsunami by Dr. Simi. That actually looks pretty fun over here. Eh, you can't really see it now. Got Crazanity up ahead. One of those giant swinging pendulums. Uh, it is not operational today from what they said on their website. Got a uh, boomerang. The thing that's crazy here is that uh, it's like the theming. Like if Six Flags actually trying and succeeding at doing some good theming here. It's pretty sweet. Oh, we got uh, the free spin Wonder Woman over here. I think this is one of the bigger ones. And you got Batman over there. Just an SLC. We've been told that it only is running the supposed bad train today. Gotta shoot the shoots here, Aquaman. Don't know if oh, there's a nearly empty boat going. These girls here just got off of it and were totally soaked. Got a star flyer here. Looks like a good time. Uh, Wonder Woman's the first up for us because Wonder Woman is not on flash pass of any type here. So you've got to gotta get here when there's hardly any line. Oh, there they go. Oh, check that baby out. I know it's just a free spin, but it's a free spin in Mexico. Wonder Woman, it's a free spin. Still really good, like super smooth. Like no like super jarring moments. It rocks. I'd probably do it again if we have time and not long lines because like I said, no flash pass. Technically there is a flash pass for Wonder Woman, but they were not selling it today. So I don't know if they don't expect there to be a demand for it or what, but it wasn't there. But we definitely didn't need it. We basically walked right on that thing because the back of the park when it opened up, uh, it was kind of a, just all the rides here had no line. And now for something super unique. Haven't done a boomerang in actually quite a while. I don't even know what the name of this one is. Oh, <laughs> you're gonna laugh at me. It's boomerang. <laughs> eh, it's a boomerang. Actually, it wasn't that bad. Uh, next up though is the SLC. And that's where we're heading. See how much it sucks. Also a funny note, I am wearing my Chief Super Bowl shirt because they just won uh, a few days ago. And there was a chant from a bunch of kids, let's go Niners. I didn't want to you know, go back and go two time losers. But uh, you know. I don't like pain. And I have a feeling nothing but pain awaits me on this thing. Oh, there goes Superman. Superman was so good. Definitely the best ride here by far that we've done so far. Haven't done Medusa. All right, here we go. Why do SLCs have to suck so much? Because they are so pretty. I mean, look at them. If you look at it, you'd be like, hey, this is freaking awesome. Man, that is a slow lift hill. Here we go. <laughs> oh man, oh 
they're getting yeeted right there. That also messed with my back, that one moment right there. Honestly, it was not as bad as I was expecting it to be. The the boomerang was probably worse than that. Oh, the boomerang was way worse. Yeah. Yeah, this thing, lock your head in on the right side, you're fine. So we had the we had the train that had the old pads. You can see over here, they're working on the uh, the train that has the newer restraints. Which honestly, I would I think I'd rather have the the old restraints on this one. Uh, this is a fantastic view of Superman. Check out this angle with that sky. And Superman was so good. I just talked about how much I loved it. Woo! Your thoughts on the park so far? It's good. It's got a good. Well, we've only done the. We've only done Superman of the good ones. Uh, really fun ride. My habitat. Behold the Thusi in his natural habitat. <laughs> Tsunami by Dr. Simi. I don't know who this guy is. Gonna do uh, oh. one of the kitty creds here. Hardly, uh, hardly any line. Okay, we're now trying to find some kitty coasters. Going into Bugs Bunny Boomtown. Cute little kids Let's area. Find some kitties. I can't believe that he just said that while I'm recording. Oh gosh. That was loud. Check this out. Check out the Bugs Castle there. It's awesome. Oh, it looks like we found up here we got a Dark Knight coaster. And then we've got Superman Krypton Coaster, which is a slightly different Krypton Coaster than I've done. Look at this uh, Ferris wheel up here. This area is really nice. Check out the waterfall. This kind of looks fun. Honestly, the line's not bad. Look at all those people having fun. Let me hear you say, ah! Can I get up for you? So I rode side by side on that. With this guy, oh, you know it. That it was, was that was a tight fit, <laughs> but we made it work. It's fine. It is what it is. Now, Dark Knight coaster. Pretty nice queue, leading up to a big, big box building. Yeah, this. Ferris wheel here is like hidden. It's not running. It's cool looking. Hey! All right, we made it inside the Dark Knight building. We burned a flash pass on this. Hey! All right, next up is Medusa. We've rode pretty much everything else, and now we're going for what might be the best in the park. But man, it's gonna be hard to beat Superman. Superman was pretty fantastic. Also, check out the theming back here. This is fantastic. Got the shop for Medusa here. Oh yeah, check that out. Entrance to Medusa, that is a sweet entrance. 
just just know that this video is stabilized. It's like a funhouse line. This is insane. Bart's in your cricket. This is crazy. And a reminder, this is at like 7,000 feet altitude. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck? This is awesome. First good view of the inside of Medusa. Check that out. That looks super sweet. Yeah. All right, we got uh, two trains going. Just one, one dispatched up there. Medusa rocks. That was a ton of fun. Uh, I mean, it's probably. Like it's one of the higher of the like the early gen RMCs. It doesn't compare to like some of the newer ones, but it doesn't matter. That thing was fun. That was, yeah, that was a great coaster. I think I might like Superman the most at this park. I think Superman might be my favorite uh, because that thing just rocked. But man, what a what a great coaster! Check this out. That's about as much of a view of the coaster as you get. It's all like kind of hidden and not close to the rest of the park, at least that we've seen. But just fantastic. All right, so we've done just about everything, but the next thing we want to do again is Superman because that ride was awesome. The queue for Superman. All these offices. Oh man, there's no one here. Like all the way back to here. Yeah. Holy cow, yeah, why why burn a flash pass? Yeah, literally. This is awesome. Hi Emma! Hey. That joker's a good time. So far, we've done all of the credits here. Uh, fun park. Nothing like spectacular, spectacular, other than Superman. Uh, Medusa's up there too. But the park itself is gorgeous. It's well taken care of. Uh, yeah, I'd totally, totally come back here if I had time. Star in one of your vlogs here. Sure. You gotta, you gotta walk and talk. You gotta walk and talk. So here at Six Flags Mexico, we're about to ride the Star Flyer. Great views. What else? Hey, after just being in Switzerland, I'm in Mexican Switzerland. It kind of reminds me of it. Good theming here. But why is Capone's in Switzerland? Well, the Swiss Alps, or I mean the Italian Alps. Ooh, but they, oh, they've got the e-gaming place. This is a 
cool gaming area here. There's the E6 Gaming. Hollywood! Oh, this is where this goes. That was the part of the park we hadn't seen yet. This is such a nicely kept park. It is. We have X Flight at home. Hey, it's a big Six Flags sign. Hey, that's pretty fun. Hey, Crazy opened later on. This park is really great. You really should get here. Check out Six Flags Mexico. Oh wow, that one gets up there. Oh, legit disappointed. The Starflyer, which we were planning on doing, is that 50 minute wait. Look at that line, it's crazy. And they don't take the flash pass, they only do VIP. Oh well. Can you be sad? Any tears? Okay. Oh, uh, here comes Aquaman. Let's see how big this splash is. That's respectable. Holy cow! That's more than respectable. That was great. Hey! All right, they've got a, a DJ out here for gaming and Coaster Fest, which is what we're apparently here on. Uh, nobody's watching, but cool atmosphere. One last ride on the best ride in the park. Train takeover, train takeover. Woo! Oh, watch out! End of the day, there is nobody in line. There's gonna be more people in line in our flash pass line than in the regular line. Oh, look at this. Emptiness. That's Keith. Okay, our day at Six Flags Mexico is over. Uh, we're leaving, we're gonna head to Catapoom, see if we can get some rides there. Uh, this park was fantastic, had a great day. Buying the Flash Pass, easily solid top tier move. Uh, definitely recommend you do that. Uh, thanks for watching, please like and subscribe, and have a great time when you visit Six Flags Over Mexico. Woohoo, great aesthetics. <laughs>